businesses are still shopping around delivery companies manually to find the right carrier to take their parcel. But the tech-savvy operators are making huge savings by using software in the cloud to do this for them. Think of the way that eBay offers different shipping options. But how do SMBs leverage technology in this way? And what other uses can it have? To discuss this, we're joined in the studio by Ryan Higginson, Vice President of Global Small Medium Sized Business Solutions for the technology firm Pitney Bowes. I'm Emma Howard. Welcome to the Business Debate. Ryan, welcome to the London Stock Exchange. Thank you, it's great to be here. So tell me about Pitney Bowes, how do you help the small to medium business? We help small to medium businesses in many ways. Um, we're a global technology company and ultimately we let our clients and uh, small to medium businesses communicate with their clients and cut through the marketing messages that are out there so they really stand out. What would you say are the challenges that the small to medium businesses face? It's change, the pace of change, um, and also competing with the large enterprises out there. And that's where we play a part. We've worked with the large enterprises over the years, taken the technology that we let them leverage, simplified it, and now we deliver it to small to medium businesses in things like SaaS, so software as a service, so they can access it when they like, how they like, at a very low subscription cost. Because there are lots of challenges that they face, aren't there? I've got a list here. There are factors to consider, like compliance, like weight and dimensions of packages for different countries, that all changes, what they contain. How does technology help with that? Again, that's where we come in, we take that pain away. You're right, there's many complexities to uh, shipping, to commerce, globally, internationally. It can be overwhelming, can't it? It, it? it can be, very much so. I mean, there is things like harmonisation codes, so you need to know what's the code that you're shipping. Is it a handbag or clothes and things like that? We take all that away from them. You just need to worry about growing your businesses, talking to your clients, finding new prospects. And you've, you've a long history doing it, haven't you? And I, I know you go back right to 1920 and, and the first franking machine. That's right. Sounds amazing. So how much of your business is hardware and nowadays how much of it is software? It, it's, it's probably 50-50. But the uh, beautiful thing right now is a lot of it is merging together. We've recently launched what we call the commerce cloud. So a lot of these technologies in the hardware have now come onto the sort of software based. And now small businesses can access this cloud and take the services they need. It could be, for example, multi-carrier mailing software system. This is on the cloud. It's a software as a service. Um, it started with us researching how small businesses operate. We had a team with small businesses looking at how shipping worked through their business. We brought that back in and now we deliver it to them in a very simple way. Again, through the cloud, uh, software as a service. And businesses are still invoicing their customers and often through the post, so a lot of paper there, and yet we're being told increasingly that we're a paperless society. What do you think about that? Do you think it'll happen? I don't think so. I, I think we've heard that many times. Um, it's really today's world, it's about a combination, leveraging the full marketing mix. Not just one way will work, it's standing out from the crowd. There are many, many messages that you receive every single day physical as well as digital. And when you embrace the two together, that's where you really stand out. Uh, and that's what we help that small businesses do with our legacy, which is very much the physical world, and where we now play in very much the digital world. We bring the two together perfectly, and that then pass that to small businesses to leverage. So that combination still goes forward? Definitely, definitely. More so, I would say now. Ryan, you power eBay's shipping programme, global shipping programme, which is amazingly efficient. But do you think that smaller and medium-sized businesses think, oh, can we afford that? Is that something that's going to work for us? You're right, we do power eBay's uh, shipping program, but that's given us experience and learnings. And in fact, many of the eBay's customers are small to medium businesses themselves. So we've taken that technology and simplified it, put it in the cloud so small to medium businesses can now access it and use it as and when they need to, typically on a subscription basis. Uh, right, so, it's so they very can afford efficient. it then, that's Absolutely. that will be a concern. Absolutely. And it's modular, so you can take one piece and then grow as you grow and your needs grow. And that's the beauty. We bring it all together and have it in the cloud for you hosted, take away the worries and you can focus on growing your business. And that's exactly what they're hoping to hear. What would you say then is the key message for small and medium businesses from Pitney Bowes? Embrace technology. Let us take away some of the, uh, the challenges that are out there around regulation. Um, so you can focus on the main thing, which is talking to your clients, growing your business and finding new clients as well. We have all our history that's been brought together now and available in a simple cloud offering that you can take and access as and when you need to. Ryan Higginson, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And join us next time when we'll be talking about the latest innovations in smart cities. But for now, thanks for watching.